Hello folks, uh, my name is Jay Janelovic and I'm glad uh, that you joined me in another of my tutorials about uh, Adobe Illustrator CX6. Uh, today I'm showing you how to uh, create these uh, small uh, icons uh, that you can use uh, on your mobile phone or wherever you want. Uh, I'll show you uh, techniques uh, like uh, how to create a pattern. Uh, these, these dots in the background are a, a pattern. Uh, something that you uh, draw draw your rectangle and say uh, uh, it has this this pattern fill and it fills out uh, a whole uh, uh, in advance uh, I'll probably be showing you how to uh, add a drop shadow uh, like this uh, which is pretty easy to do in Photoshop uh, but uh, there are some tricks in, in uh, Adobe Illustrator so uh, let's uh, start from a new document. I'll I like to start from a template, and uh, for some reason uh, this template has two layers. So I'll delete the one, and I'll copy this uh, this rectangle here only uh, because of its color, and I'll click uh, I'll press and hold Control and uh, hit the number two on my keyboard, and this what this does uh, it locks this layer so it doesn't bother me in future. Then I'll pick this uh, rounded rectangle tool. Uh, you can hold Alt and click here to switch between all of these shapes or you can click and hold and pick the uh, round rectangle tool. Uh, this will be the shape of our letter so you can make it like this or like this but this is some general shape uh, and that is acceptable and uh, we'll make this color a bit uh, different so it stands out and uh, uh, I have my uh, smart guide turned on uh, these uh, green this green text here seen center uh, is only uh, showing up when you have smart guides uh, turned on uh, if you go to the views panel a uh, view panel and select smart guide uh, so uh, now, uh, now uh, the smart guides are turned off, and I, if I click Control U, uh, they are on again. Uh, so uh, I'll now I'll pick this rectangle tool and uh, make uh, make one. Uh, so it 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 pos its position uh, matches our underlying round round the rectangle uh, uh, underneath. Uh, so uh, the next thing I will do. Uh, is uh, I'll pick this point and drag it to the center here, center line, and use this point and then uh, delete this. So we are left over uh, only with a uh, line that goes uh, through the center of this uh, rounded rectangle. Uh, I'll go to the transform and then I'll choose reflect. Uh, we want a horizontal reflection and uh, We'll make a copy. So uh, now uh, we have two uh, lines. Uh, they are they have no stroke and no fill, but I'll, I'll make them make them green or white. Make them white to see them better. Uh, why uh, we did all of this is to uh, make our uh, letter form uh, uh, to make our letter shape here. Sorry, uh, we'll use the shape builder tool and uh, click in every of these segments and uh, what this does is it creates uh, four uh, closed paths for us uh, uh, what i forgot to do i forgot to copy uh, our shape underneath so i'll just click uh, undo a few times here uh, before uh, i used the uh, this shape builder tool undo. And I'll make just a duplicate of this layer. So I'll click Control C and Control F. Uh, what I basically did is uh, Control C copied this one, which is selected, and then I uh, pasted him in front of the uh, shape that I have selected. So if I have two uh, rectangles here, 
I'll make them different colors so you can see. Uh, if I copy this one, and say, say Control C, and then uh, Control F, and then, and then select this one and say Control F. It pastes it pastes itself uh, on top of this one, but in the position of the blue one, but on top of this layer. Uh, I hope you you got the uh, general idea. Uh, so uh, using control and pasting in front and back is very uh, very useful. Uh, it gains uh, you a lot of speed uh, during uh, designing. Uh, so uh, now again, I'll select these two lines and this shape go to the shape builder tool again click all of these uh, segments delete these small little paths over here and then uh, we have got our shape uh, we can color this we can color this in different colors we can make this uh, 100 100% uh, white we can make this a bit gray and this one make a bit more darker and uh, uh, now comes the fine, fine tuning really uh, I'll select this this one and uh, reduce its size a bit and zoom, zoom in a bit and then uh, we'll, we'll select uh, this, this shape here and uh, again go Control C and Control F paste in front <coughs> And then uh, the one that is underneath this layer, uh, I'll put the down arrow. I'll change its position and make uh, the ju just to recognize uh, recognize it better. Uh, I'll uh, put this uh, gray color on it and drag this point a bit down. I'm going to bring him back up again. And uh, this is basically uh, the form of the letter uh, that we wanted wanted to create. Uh, what I did here is just played a bit uh, with the shadows. Uh, for example, uh, I used this layer, and uh, the one that we uh, copied, and I, I made this uh, this one white here, and. Because this shape is on top of the, of the one uh, underneath, uh, if you if you if we drag this point, the one underneath uh, get gets visible. Uh, so uh, we are trying to create uh, this little crisp line uh, here. So I'll just use the pen tool and add a point here, and uh, I'll select this point that was previously here and uh, delete it. Uh, so we are left over with a open path that's not very good and that's not recommended uh, but uh, that's no problem we can we will see this uh, later uh, so I just adjusted this point a bit and uh, I'll uh, on my keyboard I'll hold control and uh, push the uh, J key so when, we, when I do so, uh, this path uh, automatically cl closes itself. Uh, there were uh, plenty of ways in which I could do that. Uh, we can we could use we, we could have used the pen tool and, for example, selected this point and this point, and the path uh, would close. So uh, to match this one here, uh, I but just need to make this gray a bit lighter here and this this one like this and uh, this is the reason why I copied this shape uh, earlier uh, because we need it uh, so again I'll go I'll, I'll, I'll copy this control C and uh, select this top uh, top path and control F to face in front uh, then I'll uh, do this uh, twice paste in front twice so now I have two shapes here I'll pick the uh, top one and use the up arrow on your keyboard then select both of them the first ones again the shape builder tool 
and uh, by holding the alt key and dragging uh, you delete uh, any shape that uh, this line intersects so we are left only with a nice uh, white edge so ne the next thing uh, uh, I have, I'll be showing you uh, is this this shadow here uh, to do it it's pr this is pretty simple uh, again uh, copy this uh, shape and uh, this time I'll use paste in back and with the arrow keys uh, I'll scroll a bit down uh, make its color I think I'll use this gray and uh, pick overlay like this make it darker a bit and then go to the uh, effects panel and go uh, I think it is feather, yeah, uh, feather this uh, layer, so let's turn preview on and say feather around 20 pixels, uh, because the, I, I, I would like that this shadow uh, extends uh, to the ends, so I'll make another point here and here, and slightly drag it off the edge here like this uh, to make it a bit more visible or, or uh, darker uh, you can again control C and control F and look what we got so uh, this is our first uh, icon and uh, I'll see you in my next video uh, where uh, we will be doing uh, the pattern here and uh, this uh, clock icon so uh, see you there and uh, Goodbye.